All right, I got a box. So I ordered a B and G trading. Um, I guess it's they are liquidation boxes because they're brand new items. They're in good condition. They're not pre-owned or anything. Um, and I did the Premier box, which is 25 items, and they're all supposed to MSRP over 69 I believe that's what it was. So I'm going to open it up right now, show you guys an unboxing, see what I got. Uh, this is a little card. So on the back it says Premier, um, and it kind of just lets you know who, who did the box, who curated the box. Uh, and then my invoice on it, I paid a total of $291 for everything, so tax, fees, shipping, after everything's said and done. Um, so that equals out to like $11 and something per item. So everything here, I am hoping that I can make double my money back on this box. So I want to end up pocketing $600. Um, so every platform is a little different. I sell on eBay, Mercari, and Poshmark. Poshmark is kind of the easiest, highest fee structure, which is 20%. So calculating at their price, um, I would have to add that extra 20% in. Basically, I think it comes out to like $720 is what I would have to make on this box in order to profit double my earnings. So let me just show you guys if you want to calculate that out per piece individual. Um, I think it's what $30 per piece or $35 somewhere around there so hopefully all of these items I can sell for at least that price or hopefully more um, or if there's some that may sell for less it kind of evens out in the end so first item right here on top is a metallic mini skirt this is blank NYC um, this one does not have an MSRP price but I did do a bunch of reviews on boxes um, beforehand and I seen that most of them were getting this brand so in case you want to see there so I did see um, that this brand does sell it's a little bit mixed it just depends on exactly what it is but it does sell about $30 $35 on average this is oh this is the brand I've never got before this is the brand mother and it is a sweatshirt just a crew neck sweatshirt and it MSRP for 138 it says mother always liked you best and this is a size medium so that's really cool this is a brand I know that sells very well well their jeans do so yeah I know their jeans sell well because I think it's actually called mother's denim um, but we'll see with that so um, the first item for the skirt I'm probably gonna list now I don't know many of these brands and I don't know any comps so I'll research comps for everything beforehand but um, these aren't like the style brands that I usually look for based on the reviews of the boxes. So just estimating off of style and condition and MSRP price, I'll kind of calculate what I think I might list the items for. The skirt, I'll probably list it for $28, somewhere around there, everything give or take a little bit after comps. And then the mother sweater, um, I might start kind of high and see how that does, so maybe $50 and then go from there. This is Nick and Zoe. It's a petite small, I think, or just a small maybe. So this is just a nice little tank top. It's a nice summer tank. And it has an MSRP of 128 So that's a little shocking. Um, let me see what material it is. Because 128 for a tank top. It's rayon and nylon. So it is soft. It is very soft. So again, I'll look this up. If I didn't see that MSRP price, I'd probably think I could get at $25 at most for it. Seeing that, I don't know, maybe I can get $40. Next we have Madewell. So Madewell, I am familiar with this brand. This is a Madewell size 8. There is the tag there. This is a dress. Oh, so this is a really cute summer dress. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it's really cute. It's a girly, um, festive. You can wear it to church. You can wear it to picnic. You can wear it to brunch. Um, so it's very versatile. And it's 128 is the MSRP for this. So Madewell is sought after and it is popular, but it's kind of a hit miss brand. Um, it doesn't sell as well, but because it's new with tag, then maybe it will sell for a little bit more. So again, um, I might think I'd list it for $50, and I would imagine it would sell for no less than $30. So next thing is okay. So this is definitely on trend. Joseph A. So this is an animal print zipper. This is oversized because it's a size medium. 
So it's a jacket, a hoodie jacket. It does have the hood, it's very soft. And then it has like this kind of different uh, undershirt-like style. And this MSRP for 78, okay? So this one is one that I would have imagined would be a little bit more expensive, but it's rayon, so that's why it's super soft, 100% rayon. Um, this I'd still list a little high, even though the MSRP is 78 compared to the others. I might actually list this around $45 because it is very trendy, it's oversized, it's a good size, um, and then the color is really cool, so maybe I'm just biased. Uh, Top Shop. Okay, so Top Shop, I didn't think this is a little, it's, it's, a, it's a crossover, so it's kind of hard to show. So it does have a belt here, which kind of styles it up a little bit more professional-like. Um, I, I didn't think that this was an expensive brand. This MRP, MSRP is 55 so that's actually less than what I was guaranteed to get. Um, it's nice, but I don't know that I would sell it for much. Um, I'd have to look this one up, but that might be something maybe if I reach out to them and say, Hey, you know, I was guaranteed 69 and over. Or I don't know if it's the majority would be 69 and over. I'll have to double check that. But that one, um, if I listed it, maybe 20 bucks. I don't know. Um, Permise. I've seen this brand a lot, like while sourcing, thrifting, and stuff. I never really pick it up because it's just kind of basic. It's like a basic casual line. Um, and this MSRP is for 78 so it is really soft, it's really nice. This will be great for the fall because it's kind of like a thinner sweater, but very, very soft. Too thick for like summer or spring, but thin enough for, for fall or to layer for winter. It's acrylic and nylon. Um, this one, maybe I'll list for $30 and see from there. Dresses, I do tend to list a little bit higher. And this brand is Papillon. So I've never heard of this brand before. There's the tag, uh, Papillon, and it is a size medium, polyester spandex, MSRP is $239, that's crazy, so at Nordstrom Rack, $239, if you can see that, it got down to as low as $11.99, let me show you what it is, very pretty, I think this is a very pretty dress, it has a teal and pink blush color mixed into the brown there so this is really nice cute uh, an MSRP of 228 I have to really look up that brand I don't know if I could even begin to guess if I didn't see that price and just based off of the style and the feel um, I would probably list it around 35 40 maybe here is another this is okay so this might be a maxi dress it is a size 3x London Times women and oh, hopefully you can see it okay it's very, very pretty. It actually might not be a maxi dress. I think it's just a lot of fabric, but it's a long, so maybe midi length. Um, this is really pretty. MSRP is $39.97. So that's a lot less than what I'm supposed to be getting. So that's two items already. I mean, this is really cute, really nice. I think this would sell fast because it is appropriate for the current um, season. But I don't know. This two pieces under the 69, so I might reach out to them about that just to see if, it, like, maybe to replace it or something. Um, now we have Sanctuary, another brand that I've never, well, I found it before, but it was in too rough condition for me to buy. But I've never sold this before. So, Sanctuary, um, this feels like linen. It's very pretty. It is like almost a t-shirt dress, but not quite long enough, so I would call it like a t-shirt tunic. It does have the roll-up sleeves. It's a high-low hem, and I'm going to see the material just real quick. It is rayon, linen, and lurex. I've never heard of lurex before. This one does not have an MSRP price on it, but it's nice, and I think Sanctuary sells for a lot, so that's a good piece. Another one we have, it is Nordstrom Signature, extra, extra large, and the MSRP for this one is, it looks like $229, it was kind of cut off there, but $229 for just a Nordstrom brand. So This is really cute, it's a fun uh, peplum hem, so I do like this, it has a zipper in the back, I think this is appropriate for the season, also a good transition piece into fall. Mm, looks like we got another long dress here. 
Uh, this one is all over the place. Oh, okay, it's got a built-in liner, so it's a little complicated. Another London Times, so hopefully this one retailed for a little bit more. This one retailed for one eighteen. Okay, so that's a huge difference than the other one, but this one retailed for one eighteen, and this is definitely more of a maxi dress. So it does have an eyelet detail. If you can see that, okay. Um, this is really pretty. I like this a lot. I think it's great for the season. I didn't notice what size it was. 10. So azure blue, that's the color. So it's a size 10. So I think this one will sell pretty fast. Maybe I would list this one for about $40, maybe $45, um, maybe even a little bit more. So I don't know. I hate to like overshoot for sizing or for, for pricing rather. <laughs> okay, now we have a Tahari. So this is a Arthur S. Levine. The Levine and this looks like another maxi dress <clears throat> oh this is actually a jumper so this is a jumpsuit jumper striped very pretty very you can dress it up or down so it's I see it and I think more business chic a little bit business savvy so if you're going to like a work event or something outside like maybe a nice wedding outside this is a size 10 MSRP is 138 so rompers and jumpers tend to sell constantly um, I see them for like most people as well as for myself so I think that will sell pretty quickly or um, if not like super fast it'll definitely sell and I would list that maybe for $40 40 45 <laughs> and Reformation okay I've heard of this brand as well I've never found it myself so this is a Reformation skirt. It's a black mini skirt. So very kind of just simple black mini skirt. Um, I saw the tag around here, so here it is. This MSRP is for, I can't really tell the price on there. Um, the markdown price was $58.50, so the MSRP has to be higher than that. It looked like it was still two digits, so probably 98 is what I saw. This is cute, so um, I'm hoping that this will sell pretty fast and for a good amount because I do know that that's a very popular brand. So if the MSRP was 98 and the markdown price was just as low as 58, then maybe I'll list that about $50. Nina Leonard, size small. I've never heard of this brand either. MSRP is 78.88. This is a very pretty dress. Now this is like really good material and quality I can just tell this bell sleeve it's a little mini bell sleeve or tulip sleeve very cute I do like this a lot just based on the feel so it's rayon and polyester blend um, I would probably list this one a little bit higher because it's a very sophisticated like elegant business dress um, or just for like a nice function so not a gown but just still very elegant maybe I'll list that around 50 it might be too high but I, I really like it Another Blank NYC, so just again Blank NYC, this is the Jukebox High Rise Ankle Skinny, size 25, oh MSRP is 78, and yeah, they're just basic skinny high rise blue jeans, so straight leg, it's nice, um, those jeans right there seem just like the standard $35 price range. Another pair of jeans. A G Den oh Adriana Goldschmied so Adriana Goldschmied I've, I've never found either but I've seen this brand a lot people find it it looks like a boot cut or a mini flare the Angel boot cut size 27 so it is a boot cut and MSRP on this one 225 so that's really cool I mean boot cuts not as popular nowadays but I feel like it's gonna come back I really do so um, these Maybe I would list close to 100. I don't know, is that too much? That might be too much, but I might try those at close to 100. It's my first time finding that brand, so excited about it. Another Papillon, so same polyester spandex, MSRP 289.88. I have to look up this brand. This is another dress, just like a mini, I don't know what this pattern is called, but it's a black and white pattern dress. So this is really cute. It's pretty thin, like a thin sweater material. Um, so it might be semi-sheer. I don't know if you can see through that very well, but 
it's cute. I, I couldn't imagine spending almost $300 or $300 after tax for that. Uh, so I really have to look up that brand and see how much I will be listing it for. Another blank NYC. So there's the label there. These are a green velvet jean. Oh, I like these. I really like these. I like colorful jeans, so um, I don't know how they'll sell with this brand, but these are size 27. Oh, here's the tag. And MSRP 98. So maybe these will sell for a little bit more. They do look to be a skinny jean, so, and that velvet's very nice, so that'd be perfect, I think, for fall and winter. Maybe I would list those for a little bit higher um, instead of the 30 range, maybe in the 40 range. This is looks like a bathing suit or um, a bodysuit. Brand Maji, M A A J I. I don't know, I've never heard of this brand either. Maji, Mahi. And it's kind of a small bathing suit. Um, it is a size small. But maybe it's a junior's brand, or maybe they run small, or maybe, well, they do, it does have a lot of stretch. But it's super cute, it has the little emblem here. I didn't see MSRP 154.88. So this definitely is a very expensive retail brand bathing suit, so that's nice. I'll have to look that one up um, based on the MSRP. The style, I would say maybe I'd list it for 50. Um, sometimes I've, I get nervous pricing things too high because I'm not used to a lot of like luxury or higher end brands. Um, so I mean if comps do show it higher of course like I'll price it higher but I'd rather my stuff sell faster for a little bit less versus waiting longer for a little bit more. So that's just me because I buy so much stuff. And this is Bowden. So Bowden I have heard of and I've purchased before. Bowden size large, MSRP is 120. It's kind of lost its thunder a little bit for me, but new with tags, I mean, it's probably a more current style. Those sleeves, rainbow sleeves are adorable. They have a shimmer in them. I think that's really cool. So this is like a, just a cable knit sweater. I like this a lot. Um, so this, maybe I would list for about $50. I think that's really pretty. Sweaters, I feel like they sell all year round. I'm always selling sweaters, so um, those might even sell pretty quickly. Another pair of blank NYC. I think that's four items already. So blank NYC jeans. These, oh, these are raw hem. So these are probably like an ankle jean. That raw hem is really trendy, really cute. I definitely like that. And this MSRP is, oh, it doesn't have one on here, but these are size 25 and they're called intro, I think. So these are cute. I like this pair a lot. Um, maybe I'd list this one for about $40 or just a little bit less. That raw hem I think will make it sell a little bit faster. Another Papillon. So this brand again, size medium, MSRP 289.88. I, I just have to, I have to look up this brand. So I need to know more about this. This is another dress. It is a black dress. It's kind of a little bit of a bodycon, but not super fitted. Uh, it's still polyester and spandex. It's nice. It has a really nice pattern to it. Um, but again, I, I, can't, I don't even know what to price it at because, like I said, I wouldn't see that dress. And based on the style and the material, say it's a $300 dress. But that's just me. Uh, this is Max Studio. Okay, this brand I've seen before, like at Macy's and Dillard's, like a little bit smaller department stores. Not small department stores, but more financial conscientious department stores um so this one let me see the msrp is 98 dollars size extra small this is a vest this is a really cool vest it's like that sherpa material vest super soft it has pockets on the side this i think will sell very well it's definitely trendy um uh, so 100 polyester so I wasn't expecting that. I kind of thought there'd be some wool in it because it just feels like a super soft, expensive wool. This one I will price a little bit high. I think it's a really good style, really good piece. So maybe I'll start that one off at about 50 um, and see from there. This is another Madewell. Okay, so I got another Madewell. This is a size large. MSRP is $98. And it is a turtleneck sweater. So another sweater. This looks actually pretty nice and it feels super soft. 
So this feels like another super soft wool piece. I don't know. Materials, probably polyester again. I'm bad at materials, but oh, acrylic, wool, nylon, and elastane. So I think got a lot going on. It is very stretchy. Definitely seems like a wonderful lounge during winter. You're by the fire, you're at the cabin, you're doing some shopping and have a layer piece or something. So this one's really nice. Um, I might price it a little bit high, also about 50. And that is it. So that is everything. Those are all my items. Um, I think this is a really good box, depending on that Papillon brand that I've never heard of before. Um, those could just be like extra pieces that they just threw in so that I see a high MSRP and get excited. Or they could actually be really uh, gems that I could sell for a lot. But everything else, I, I for the most part, I feel like I can definitely make double my money on... Um, I just have to kind of go through everything a little bit more and some of the stuff that I see I think would sell pretty fast, they're pretty trendy. I was hoping for a little bit more summer pieces because I did see a lot of people getting shorts and some of the shorts were super cute, um, but I didn't get any shorts. I got two skirts I think. Um, so we'll see, but hey, at least I'll be ready for fall because I did get a lot of fall pieces. So again, I'll try to leave all the info for you guys. They have 15-20% off going on a lot. Um, you can get a code from somebody if you want to help them out because I think they get credit or something like that um, or you can just go straight to the BNG trading website and most of the time they have some sort of discount going on but just based off of this I think I would buy another box I'll probably wait and see how much and how quickly of this stuff that I sell um, I'm gonna try to get it work on this like all next week to get completely listed after comps and doing research and stuff like that um, and then I'll keep you guys updated